Hi everybody, I'm gonna show you uh, how I installed my uh, custom-made lithium-iron phosphate uh, battery pack below the driver's seat of my uh, Ford Transit custom van. Um, the build uh, includes DC-DC charger, uh, the cabling, fuses, everything you need in order to run safely the uh, battery pack without any issue, including some switches in order to completely deactivate uh, the system if required. Uh, also, the complete assembly fits below the driver's seat, so you can see it's not visible from the outside. So stay tuned, have a look at the video and uh, put a like if you like. This is how I modified uh, the fuse box here uh, below the, the driver's seat. So I put a bus bar from the main fuse here going into this big audio, um, audio fuse. This is a 60 amps going then to the DC DC and then I come back with this additional cable which is uh, gonna be connected to the uh, lithium ion battery pack again inside this fuse box this is a 200 amps uh, fuse box and then I will come back here going uh, behind on the on the compartment I had also to modify the DC-DC from Renogy. This is the uh, 40 amps version. You can see here I had to um, remove a little bit of material. Uh, this is a, an additional aluminum plate. Um, there's some kind of uh, yeah, tricks here in order to properly fit behind. So on the front of the seat, this in this place, then I already connected the wires for uh, for controlling the DC DC. This way, I am I'm able to uh, put a switch here, so I can activate and deactivate the DC DC if I don't need to use it. For example, for a uh, for using it as a, as a daily driver, um, yeah, I don't really have to charge uh, every time the the lithium battery pack, so I can save some some battery cycles. Then I took uh, this connector here. I added, uh, so I took the output wires. Uh, here we have um, three wires which are interesting for me. So one is the K15, so the, the ignition key. Uh, then we have the ground. This is also uh, most of the time very useful. And then this is a run cable. So uh, this signal is going to be uh, put or connected to ground uh, as soon as the engine is running. So um, I want to use this in order to uh, start the DC-DC only when the engine is running. This is the battery concept. Uh, those are 8 times 100 amp hour uh, lithium iron phosphate uh, battery cells from China. So uh, this is a very known uh, supplier from, from AliExpress. Um, I made some bus bars here, so they are two times three millimeters aluminum bars. Um, you can see uh, just a pretty easy connection. Um, here I made a, a small adaption. I will show you later on why I plan to put here a relay, so a contactor in order to completely disconnect the battery pack based on um, yeah faulty measurements or. Uh, over voltage or under voltage measurements from an external uh, BMS. Okay, so here is the idea. Um, I'm gonna put this contactor here so you can see why this uh, particular shape on the on the bus bar. This contactor will be controlled by a very cheap and low cost uh, 4S BMS. So. Um, the only output of, uh, of the BMS is going to uh, control the external contactor. And then we have this uh, solid state relay. This is pretty big, it's 100 amps. Uh, yeah, I assume this is peak. Um, this is just to control uh, the activation of the DC DC. And eventually, of course, I can also control all the other loads in future if I need to, to switch on uh, only uh, some loads only when the engine is running. But essentially, this will go then to my uh, switch, and from the switch, I will go to the DC DC. This amp seal connector here is supposed to connect to the uh, 
um, connector I showed before, uh, where the run, ground and uh, K15 are, are coming out. Here you can see how I put an output fuse. So it's, this is a 60 amps fuse on the output of the DC-DC. So there's a bus bar here, fuse, and then here I come out with the cable charging the lithium ion battery pack. Uh, what I didn't show you before is also the, the fact that I replaced the uh, status LEDs from the DC-DC in order to be visible then uh, from, from outside. Okay, so this is the pretty much finished uh, setup. So as you can see, this is a very <laughs> tight fit, very, very tight. So we have the starter battery. Um, this is the 80 amp hour version. Then the total of uh, 200 uh, watt, um, ampere hour uh, lithium uh, iron phosphate battery pack, DC DC inverter. Then we have here uh, the contactor. This contactor uh, is connected to a switch here. And this switch here is uh, at the moment just connected to the uh, auxiliary battery. Here will, I will put um, a battery. So I will put a custom uh, circuit in order to disconnect uh, the complete the main switch uh, in case of under voltage or over voltage. So we have a protection on the DC-DC. We will have an additional protection over discharge and overcharge protection um, here on the system, on the uh, battery, and then uh, I have uh, also on the loads uh, and under voltage protection. So here, as I can show you before, we have the activation and deactivation of the DC DC. The DC DC is anyway only active if the motor is running. So as you can see, no activation. And here on the front, we have the status LEDs in order to see if the system is working or not. This is the final step. I created a small cover out of wood so that uh, I can avoid uh, that any metal part comes in and uh, makes a short circuit and makes everything more uh, clean. So now I put the seat back on and let's see if everything fits. And here we go with the final result. So. Here you can see the switch, first switch for activating and deactivating the DC-DC converter. Here there's the main switch for the uh, battery pack. So you can, see, you can hear the click of the relay when you switch it. DC-DC, as I said, uh, this is only working when uh, the uh, engine is running. No problem with the movement of the seat, no problem, everything is clean, done. So thank you very much for watching, uh, I'm sorry if my English is not proper or some words are uh, wrong or the, the pronounce was not perfect, but I thought uh, I might do it in, in English so I might have a, a wider public for that. Um, if you liked, again, uh, press the like button or subscribe to my channel uh, for other interesting videos, I think. Goodbye.